Okay, so today we're gonna look at how to update our stock level of the application. For example, I have the app running. Let's say for the keyboards we have zero items in the store. So in the previous video, we've added these clickable links. If I click on the quantity, it will take me to the detail page. So on the detail page, I have two buttons. I can issue this item to people or receive it. That is like adding the stock level and this is subtracting the stock level so in this video we're gonna make these two button functional like if I click on receive this item okay if I put the receive quantity let's say I receive 20 and I click save you can see the quantity is now updated we also have this message that received successfully 20 keywords now in the store so this is what we want to implement in this video so the same applies when you're issuing the item let's look at that as well so i can issue out let's say five to myself okay i'm gonna click save you can see this time it has subtracted five from the quantity all right so we have all the steps on the site a step by step so you just have to copy and paste them as usual so the first step is to create a form in forms.py on this one we have two forms we have the form for issuing the item and also receiving the item so i'm going to copy both the forms and paste them in forms.py okay so the issue form will have issue quantity and issue two all right so those are the two fields that it will have we're going to put the quantity that we want to issue out and who do we issue out to okay so for the received form we just want to have quantity not received by in another video we will see how to um, automatically field receive by field as we are doing the receive okay we're gonna do the same thing uh, for issue by all right so in this video I'm gonna remove this field okay so we have the forms we're gonna move to the next step which is the views the py we want to import the issue form and the receive form in the views the py and create a view for issuing the item and also receiving the items all right so i'm going to copy both of them and paste it in views the py So since we are calling the form, the issue form right here, we have to import them, okay? So I'm gonna scroll all the way up and import them. So what I'm gonna do is to import everything at once, okay? I will not be importing the individual. So I'm gonna use a star and click save. Okay, so let's look at what the view is doing for us. So it's similar to the update view that we have up here from another video alright so we're gonna have a function that takes a request and the primary key of an item and then have a query set which is filtered to that item with the primary key that was passed in okay so since we just created the forms which is the issue form we're gonna use that as the form and then we're gonna define the parameters right there what we wanna do the quantity amount that we want to issue out okay so we're gonna check if the form that is valid do this process okay so we're gonna have a variable instance which is equals to form that save commit equals false so we're doing commit equals false so that we will have the parameters assigned to this variable and then we can do uh, an adjustment there and then finally save it right here we have this variable instance that instance dot is the quantity the quantity that was in this instance will be subtracted from the quantity all right like if i go into the models you can see we have the quantity we have the issue quantity as well so we're subtracting whatever we put in this field from the quantity all right so that's what we are doing in the views right there okay so we will specify the amount that we want to subtract or the amount that we want to issue out from the quantity so that is plus equal okay 
it's gonna do the subtraction and then whatever it has is gonna assign it to the instance dot quantity so this right here is a short form of this instance the quantity is equals to the same instance the quantity minus that instance dot issue quantity we're gonna take the current total the current quantity and subtract this from it all right and then whatever number that we have we're gonna assign that new number to the instance dot quantity and then save that all right so the short way of writing that is I'm gonna remove this the short way of writing it is instant dot quantity minus equals instant dot issue quantity all right so I hope you get that if you don't get it you can repeat that part multiple times until you get it all right so this is a short form of that subtraction there all right so I will explain this in another video I'm gonna remove this for now so that is basically what we're trying to grab the name of the user account and then save them as the one who performed this process okay so we're gonna do that in another video this is the message that we want to display to the users all right so you can say uh, issue successfully and now I'm gonna concatenate that with the quantity the updated quantity and that instance that item name okay all right so we're gonna say um, issue successfully this amount of quantity this amount of this object is now left in the store so we're going to display the quantity of the item right here and the name of the item okay so that's the um, message that we just saw here it should successfully 15 keyboards now left in the store all right so then we can now do instant that save okay so i hope you get that so we're going to do exactly the same for the receive item okay so it's gonna be very similar but in this case we're gonna do plus equal so we're gonna say instant dot quantity plus equal instant dot receive quantity all right so I hope you get that all right so I'm gonna save this and then move to the next step so this is the context that we've been using over and over I hope you get that by now so we'll use these parameters later in another video so I'm gonna leave them here for now so you're gonna save this and then move to the next step so we're gonna make the URLs that will take us to the issue and uh, receive items okay those um, views that we just created so I'm gonna copy these two URLs and paste them in urls.py all so right below the stock details I'm gonna paste it right here and then make sure that is indented properly all right so I'm gonna save this and then move to the last step that is to create the HTML anchor links uh, on the page where we're gonna click to take us to the issue under receive item all right so that is these two links right here so currently if I click on the issue items nothing happen likewise receive item all right we're gonna make sure this button are linked to that URLs that we created so that's the code I have right here okay so we're gonna have uh, the anchor links in the detail form is where we're gonna put it so we're gonna put that in the detail template all right so I'm gonna go to detail template so where right where I have the anchor tag I'm gonna replace it with the URL for that issue item and I'm gonna replace this one also with the URL of the receive item okay so I'm gonna save it and test that so I'm gonna refresh and then I'm gonna go to keyboards and then click issue this item these details are coming from the last um, issue items we just did in another video we're gonna blank out this form so that we will not mistakenly click save and repeat this process again all right but that's gonna be for another video uh, so in this case I want to issue out 10 to 
I'm gonna click save okay so we have five now left in the store and that is the notification right here so I'm gonna test the receive items and make sure that is working as well so I'm gonna add 10 right here so our balance was five so if I receive 10 we should see 15 okay so this is how to update your stock level and I hope you enjoyed the video if you do click on the like button don't forget to subscribe if you are a new user or if you have not subscribed yet see you in another video